I'm Rob. Patrick. Hey, Patrick. I'm Rob. I can read. I just cheated, <laughs> Adam. I'm gonna. I'm psychic. No, no. So, Yellow Max, you're talking a little bit about what a product is, a Yellow Box. Uh, how familiar are you guys with it? I know you're pretty familiar. You have a pro. You've got a pro. Great. Yeah. Great. I, I love it. That's what I use for all the, the weddings and stuff I do. So the software is pretty much the same across all devices. The hardware is a little bit different based on use case. So what I'm showing you here directly translates everywhere else. Yellow Box, Yellow Max, Yellow Pro, all of that stuff in stream, they all connect using Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and SIM card. They all have the ability to take onboard storage and add additional SD card videos, things like that that you have right there. They all have a number of HDMI outputs plus a number of USB inputs. So you can have two, three, four, or six total cameras depending on how you use those HDMI inputs. The cool part about all of this stuff is that these specific devices all share the same software. The software and hardware are proprietary technology of Yolo Live, but they bring those together to make a more seamless streaming device. And Yolo Live, I think, uh, Adam, you were talking about. You pronounce it Yolo Live? Yeah, Yolo Live. Uh, like you only live once. How do you how do you pronounce it? I thought it was Yolo Live because it's all live streaming stuff. So the nice part about the name, let's let's settle it uh, here now. So we'll I'll put out a video at the end of uh, end of uh, CES. Check for it on the channel. I'm gonna ask everyone to see is it Yolo Live or Yolo Live? So uh, so. Uh, Patrick, right? I was going to say Matt, but I don't know why. Patrick, uh, what do you think? I thought it was YOLO Live, but looking at it now, I see YOLO Live. Okay, I've always said no E. Right. No E, so I thought it was that. But what are you, Adam, you're saying? Yeah, YOLO Live makes sense. It's a live streaming product. Okay. But also it plays on that you only live once, right? Okay, so we'll ask it. So <laughs> right now, uh, the lives are winning because we got two to one. Okay, so we'll keep that up. Two to one. Um, so anyways, on, for Yellow Live, all of them share the same software, right? And there's also a product, Yellow Cast, which is, brings the software proprietary to your computer so that you, and it gives you a bunch of additional features so you can use it with whatever workstation you got. But when it comes down to stuff like this, all of these right here, we've got our transitions that go through. Um, we've got our settings. The settings are dependent on what devices you have, so some devices have different settings. But everything from video switching control, local video, depending on what you want to do, resume the frame, have it keep playing, that way you can have some B-roll if you're using it in the background as a background template or something like that, it can continue to play. Um, if you've got video out settings as far as if you want to take this and put it into a streamer or another recorder, another encoder or something like that. USB -C? Yeah, this will go out to USB-C, you can uh, flip it horizontally, you can program out and you can HDMI out. It's crazy, right? Now, that's not just YOLO Max. Remember, this works with any product that has it, so they all have a USB-C, yeah, you can do a video out. Software stuff. Yeah, and then we've got our transitions, which you've seen, if you haven't seen, we've got the window slice, how do you like that? Boom, vertical blinds, bring you back to 1990, right? Uh, maybe, encoding settings. This is where, I'm gonna go ahead and ask a question for you, or you guys can ask it. Hey, what's the best way to live stream in a data-starved network? Lower your bit rate. Lower the bit rate. Absolutely, you guys love it. And do you think that you should perform a network test before you start live streaming? Probably, yeah. Yeah, okay, so one of the first things that happened when Yolo Live first started making Yolo Box is people, uh, it wasn't as streamlined as all of this, right? So there was a little bit more integration that was required with uh, the APIs, and when YouTube or Facebook would change, some things happened. People had a hard time writing or uh, setting up RTMPS servers because they didn't know you had to put that little backslash for the key. So I wrote tutorials about that for them. I wish you guys had been there, you could have helped me out. Because <laughs> people are like, why can't it stream? Yeah. And they didn't know how to set it up because they just didn't know how to enter it, even though it's pretty simple. But here we got the constant quality, constant bit rate, VBR, up to 8,000 kilobits, and this 30 frames a second. However, um, 60 frames on Yolo Box Pro, 60 frames on InStream, 60 frames on uh, uh, Yolo Box Mini as well. So it's pretty good that way. Hello, and welcome to the ch chit chat. How are you? We'll talk about this. So the new um, the streaming service it has like a minute long buffer built into the uh, the service, mm. so you never drop frames. Oh. Is that insane? Yeah. So yeah. the whole thing can cut out, and you could still just reboot the whole thing, and nobody would ever notice. Actually, no. actually, you're right. I got that question the other day, just yesterday. It was it's pretty amazing. There's another thing that you can do if you're not using the streaming service and you are using uh, YouTube or something like that. You can set your latency. Uh, to a longer latency on your YouTube streaming platform. And usually that'll take it, the longest latency will give you about one minute, 60 seconds, maybe a minute and a half, depending. Ultra low latency will give you down to less than 10 seconds, depending on your network. Normal is about 15 to 20, just depending on the network. 
So if you recognize that you are streaming, like I do this for weddings all the time, if I'm in a data-starved network, I'll set on my YouTube studio, I'll set my latency to have a longer latency, but right? There's nothing, stupider, there's nothing stupider than YouTube canceling your stream and now it's a different address. Yeah, that's no fun, uh, but I also have it set on the YouTube studio, set to camera trigger, right? So it triggers when it sees the stream, and when it sees no video coming in from the encoding software, instead of turn off, I have the setting set to pause. Right? Yeah, so okay. check this out. And then I set, check this out. Here's another pro tip. Use it wisely, use it wisely. I set my thumbnail, my secondary thumbnail. I set it so that uh, when it pauses, it shows the, we will return, or my hold screen. Anyways, if that were to ever happen. But I have a thing I do. I always be recording. I, all my team and I, we ABR, always be recording. So internal to the camera. I mean, of course we're recording. But our, all of that stuff right there being said, you know, uh, it is what it is. You do see noise reduction, right? So they've got some built. Was that there before? So this is a part of an update. I got to tell you. See this camera right here? This is Verticam, right? This is their vertically integrated live stream camera, specific pan tilt zoom, 12 times optical, uh, f 1.8 to 2.4, I believe, uh, which is pretty nice. But a small sensor, uh, one over 2.3. I always come on as a wedding photographer. Real quick question: You guys think I like to shoot with cell phone cameras? No. Would you shoot with a cell phone camera? Would you record a video with a cell phone camera? No, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't either. Better, they're getting, they're better. getting better. This is a one over 2.5 inch sensor. I use it outside all the time. It's terrible in low light. But this Canon right here, this, this is Canon, not the camera company. Canon, look at that big. That's a big honking piece of glass. This thing is all lens except for about the back inch where it's got a fan. So that 1.8 to 2.4 aperture low light with that smaller sensor, it's amazing. I got a video on it on YouTube and Facebook for, uh, for Yola Live. I absolutely love it. And that 3D noise reduction technology, they're using adaptive AI-based 3D noise reduction technology built into this. So when you turn it on, the noise is just, the, like it, it's, just it's, it's really kind of mind-blowing uh, in low light what it can do. It really is. So Verticam, when they asked me to check it out and review it, uh, I said, of sure, of course I would, but I didn't realize that it was going to be as, as, I didn't realize I would like it as much because it's right. not what I used to, I'm right. used to using. Sure. Yeah. Um, and all of that's built in. If you didn't know, turn auto yo follows video off, but I keep it on because I want my US, I want my, uh, I want some of my audio stream to show over here. Oh, my you, mic might not be working right now. Okay. Oh, we're over here. One way or the other, one of these must not be plugged in in the back. In any event, all of it works nicely for us, and then we're back to our titles, which Yola Live is known for making great titles. You know, you can have all kinds of stuff, rolling captions, whatever you want. Is Yola Max just for vertical? Yeah, so this, is a, this whole thing is designed to be vertically integrated for your commerce marketplace, e-commerce marketplace, online. Facebook, Twitch, TikTok, TikTok specifically. And people are selling. So the way that it works is you might have your main camera here, you got a two up or people are chit-chatting. Go ahead and give your uh, overlay right there. Then you've got your detail camera. You're showing off something really cool. I know, right? Hi, how's it going? And then, and then you've got all of this that's taking place. And at some point in time, you go ahead and put your, uh, you know, your QR code or whatever that you've got up there so that people can go to your link and buy it. This is the way that e-commerce is just taken off that way. So lots of things. If it's any kind of good that can be held up and sh uh, like shown this way, uh, these different designs and templates really work well in a vertical orientation. So yeah, Yellow Max right here, vertically oriented. It's the way it's set up. But you can go ahead and you can adjust your video just like you could anywhere else. You can adjust this. You can chroma key still if you wanted to turn on your switch. We don't really have much great in our background, but if we did, we could adjust it out and choose a background image. I don't have my hard drive connected right now. And the key is really good. Yeah, so you they add do. pre uh, filmed videos, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Add video sources. Yeah. Um, so the video sources that we would add, just plug in right over here. I don't know if you can see on that side, my camera might move, but you can see all the different connections that are over there. And it connects through the USB-C, so you can put in a hard drive, it'll record and use the video at the same time. Pretty what? crazy, right? Wow. What do you think? Yeah, it's awesome. That's pretty incredible, yeah. What's your favorite feature? Um, probably the overlays. I mean, I like the idea that you can put um, some YOLO on a tripod and have it be completely self-sustained. You don't have to have a table with computers and yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. I wanna thank you so much for being over here with me. Hey friends, Rob popping back at the end of the video. Just wanted to remind you, Yolo Live doesn't just make one great product. We've got all these other ones, such as Yolo Box Mini, which is on top of my camcorder right here, live streaming straight out to the world with two inputs. We've got in-stream, we've got our very cam, we've got Yolo Box Pro and Yolo Max. So there's lots of ways to stream all in one device. No matter which one you decide that you like, they all have the same great software. And if you want your own software solution and you don't need the hardware, you can go ahead and check out our YoloCast product. It's a great product. It brings all of this to your hardware on your computer or your workstation, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Don't forget to YOLO live.